We're going to talk today about uh, health care uh, for myself. When I uh, uh, was first married, we had a doctor here in town, Dr. Dickinson, wonderful doctor. You had an infection or whatever, flu, whatever you had, you went to him, $10, gave you a shot, everything was good and fine. Those days are gone, just as he is. So about a dozen years ago, we were having a hard time and throughout my life a number of times I haven't had health insurance. I didn't happen to have health insurance at that time and I got an infected finger. Again, garden, I hunt for arrowheads, all sorts of things, so I'm in the dirt a lot. And uh, uh, the infected finger had swollen, got pretty bad, and I knew it would have been beyond my means, so I said, well, I'll go to the doctor and check it out. And I went out here to the clinic and the uh, uh, receptionist said, how are you going to pay for it? And I said, well, I don't have health insurance. But I pulled out, I got a $50 bill. And uh, she said, well, it might cost more than that. At the time, it cost $37 to get in. Of course, it costs $100 or more now. But uh, I said, well, I don't have any other options right now. It's all the money i got, hard cash, and not much chance of making much more money through the winter time here. And uh, so she said, well, you can't come in then. Now that puts the fear of God in you. And I said, what am I supposed to do? And she said, we don't owe you nothing. And I said, I understand that. But uh, I said, in this community, it doesn't owe, owe me anything either. I mean, I've been Santa Claus for the city of McCook for, you know, 20 some years at the time. And I, uh, for free. And I said, I'm not asking for anything. I'll pay my way. But she, she wouldn't let me in. So, okay, fine. I went home. And I said, okay, I've got an infected finger. How do I beat an infected finger? And uh, I remembered my grandmother always talked about really big time pro Epsom salt. And she said, get you a big old cup and fill it up with Epsom salt and then put uh, just enough water to make it the density of thick mud. Heat it up, put your hand in or toe, whatever you'd have infected. And she said, that'll draw the poison out. And uh, everything was poison rather than bacteria. They always thought uh, in the name of poison in your body if it was infected. Fine, it worked though. And so I, I uh, heated it up, put my hand in there about five times, about a 15 minute increment per time, and the five times. And uh, I didn't stop there though, because I said if I'd went to the doctor, what would I've got? Antibiotics and a sh uh, pills. Nowadays you can't get a shot. And so, uh, but uh, here that you can buy antibiotics over the, over the counter. And so I took that and I put some on the finger, but it just got ahead of me and got infected. And so I said, well, a little bit there apparently isn't enough. So I then put it between the joints of my fingers, on the wrist, and here, and under the arm. That's what I did. And by the next day it was healed. And I said, okay, I, I just learned something. Now if I'd have had to go another day, I would have used everything I needed. But I've never, myself, ever needed to use that second day to try to heal myself uh, from infections. And uh, because of infections, uh, you know, I'd go to the doctor maybe twice a year, whatever. And uh, in the last 12 years, I've never had to go back to the doctor for an infected finger. When it starts, I immediately hit it big time, and it goes away. And I've healed it, if you will, at my own uh, home and saved a bunch of money, I might add, too. Uh, now, true, uh, down the road, uh, we got health insurance, and we've always been treated good at the clinic out here. But it was a terrible a thing uh, that um, uh, I wasn't treated and uh, it just puts the fear of God in you that uh, it might happen again for whatever reason. I know this country has a Cadillac uh, medical treatment but if you can't afford it or they won't let you in it doesn't do you much good. And so I hope this information gives you some advice that you might be able to use in the future. Heaven forbid, now I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving you medical advice but you know push comes to shove it, it may be needed and so uh, I hope you uh, uh, take uh, words of wisdom. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. I hope you subscribe to my future films and look at some of my past ones. Thank you.